to a hole, sending tons of dust into the air. The children of the village ran helter skelter. They ran to Mr. Opia's compound, where the car had stopped. They were delighted to see a car again. After a long, a very long time, and marveled at its beauty. Akwesi said, Mr. Opia's elder son, the darling boy of the village had finally arrived. The day before, the gongo had been beaten to announce the arrival of the first son of the village, who had gone to learn the ways of the white man. Everybody was prepared to give him a round of welcome. Servant preparations started there and then. However, the children's only anxiety was to see what the man had brought and to listen to what he had to say. Meanwhile, Mr. Opia and his family, immaculately dressed and full of joy and anxiety, were seated in the house. There was great expectation written all over their faces. They had been told that their son would arrive at 7 a.m. But, but by 1 p.m. there was still no sign of him. So when they went, when they also heard the screeching of the car, they all heaved sighs of relief. They were extremely happy when a physician entered the compound. The women began to sing his praises. Akwesi had forgotten his culture. He went round shaking hands with everybody. When it was his father's turn, the old man had his beam, him beaming with smiles. His mother also had him and shed tears of joy. Thank you.
37.4 points out of 50. Second, 36.3. Third, third, 35.8. And then the gallant fourth, 32.8. They have all done well. You see that the point tallies are so, so close. They have done so well. Before I announce the results, I need a big clap. Else. Reading 
Yeah. 